So in today's video, we will be taking the derivative of the function arc sine of x using a method called implicit differentiation. So without further ado, let's get going. First, we have our function y is equal to arc sine of x. First thing that we want to do is we want to isolate and solve for x, essentially. So what we're going to do is take advantage of the fact that sine and arc sine are inverses of each other. So what we'll do is we'll take the sine of both sides. So sine of y is equal to the sine of arc sine of x. So now we have isolated x because sine and arc sine are inverses of each other, they cancel each other out. All we'll be left with is sine of y is equal to x. Is equal to x. Now what we want to do is we want to take the derivative of both sides uh, with respect to x. So d by dx of sine of y and d by dx of x. Now sine of y is essentially a y function trapped within a sine of x function. So we will be differentiating this using the chain rule. So our outer function f of x is equal to sine of x. Our inner function is y. Our derivative of our outer function is cosine of x. And our derivative of our inner function is dy by dx, which is essentially what it is that we're solving for here. So using the chain rule, f prime composed of g multiplied by g prime. If you're not familiar with the chain rule, go ahead and check out the video that I uploaded on it not too long ago. We will compose this with this and then multiply the entire thing by g prime. So this leaves, leaves us with cosine of y multiplied by dy by dx. And d by dx of x is just 1. So our new equation looks like this, where it is that cosine of y, is, cosine of y multiplied by dy by dx is equal to the derivative of x, which is just 1. We want to isolate dy by dx, so we will divide both sides by cosine of y. Divided by cosine of y. Cosine of y here cancels out. All we're left with is dy by dx is equal to 1 over cosine of y. And the last thing that we want to do before it is that we come to the conclusion of our answer is we want to put things back in terms of x. And we'll be taking advantage of the fact that the sine of y is equal to x, which we can also view as x over 1. So we will construct a triangle right over here where we will have our angle y, and then the sine of y is equal to x over 1, where it is that sine is constructed with the opposite divided, the, divided by the hypotenuse. So we will have x on this side, and then we will have 1 over here. So right over here in the bottom, bottom corner, we're going to solve for that value using the Pythagorean theorem, which is the square root of 1 minus x squared. And now we can go and substitute in cosine of y, or rather we can figure out what the cosine of y is. Cosine of y is going to be equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is the square root of 1 minus x squared. And we can substitute that into our expression over here. So dy by dx is equal to 1 over, and cosine of y is equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared. dy by dx is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared using implicit differentiation. 